flashcard factory is a great way to promote critical thinking skills with students as well as collaboration skills. So in order to use flashcard factory, it's a product by Pear Deck. It's a free resource. Make sure you log in uh, with your Google account. Now, once you've logged in, you'll notice that you have a number of options here. So Pear Deck is often known as a tool for uh, creating interactive Google slide decks as well as now they have integration for PowerPoint. But what we want to do is we're going to focus on the Pear Deck vocabulary option. So we're going to create a vocab list. I can pick what my term is. And so if we might be in social studies talking about democracy, I'm going to put in democracy. And I'm going to have it search for a definition. So there's a number of definitions you can choose from. So that means if you have lower, uh, younger students, uh, elementary students, it might just be government by the people. Whereas you might get to a more uh, precise definition of the term if you're working with middle or high school students. I'm going to add in vote, see what my definitions are. I go in and I add my terms that I'm researching with my students. So now that I've got my um, terms in here, I could also import a list if I wanted to. So if I had a list of my terms, so let's go back here to where I am. So I'm going to say play flashcard factory. So what you're going to do is you have your students join just like you would a Pear Deck lesson. We're going to clock in. I love that it has a theme of having uh, the students participate in a, a work team. So the, the great thing about this is you're working in teams and you're going to have students join. You have the day shift and the night shift. So in other words, you're either on one or two teams. So we go to let's play. Notice it's going to have me work as a team to create not only a sentence with my partner, but also I have to create a visualization. And then once I've created it, I'm going to submit that. Students continue to create visualizations and examples of the key terms. And then the class will review those examples and the teacher serves as quality control. 